Because I think that I wouldn't survive with alcohol if I was like in the early, early stages of mm -hmm. alcohol. Because mm -hmm. I don't like alcohol just plain. I don't like beer just plain. I don't like any of that. So I think that now, that now things are being crafted, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And the mixologists are in the building. At the same time, I'm just like, this is the, this is the time. Mm -hmm. For those that had to taste it back in like the early 1800s, Oh, oh that's, I was like yes. in the nineties. Mm -mm. mm -mm. We're going back to the because even in the nineties, like and even in the nineteen hundreds, they started bringing in the cosmopolitan, the old fashioned, mm, and, you know, yeah. like all of these types. So people started to craft it like a little bit. And I think that, but they weren't like widely accessible. No, because they you were be like rich for the elite, yeah. exactly. Like think about an old fashioned and, and the cosmopolitan and, and the martini, like all of those were people dressed up in like suits. Like drinking these particular things. I want to dress up and see. You say you want to? Yeah. Welcome to another episode of Odd Pairing. I am your co-host Natasha, and I am with Paige today. Paige is back guys every last time week. almost every time <laughs> <laughs> last week as you saw i was suffering in silence as my husband was my co-host but he, he did a good job he did he did a good job he was trying to take your place though oh well i want you to know that oh he tried to take he it tri he was like he was talking to the crowd talking about we our fans i was like sir <laughs> oh this is Paige's seat knock it off <laughs> Yeah, he was trying to take your spot, so I'm glad you're back. Mm, thanks. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you wanted me back after that. I was like, uh-uh, I don't like this. Who is this? I don't like this. I don't like the way you cut me off. I don't like none of this. Uh-uh. Bring Paige back. You're too comfortable. Right. You're too comfortable. <laughs> it's your first show. You're too comfortable. He was waving. You would have thought it was his. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I'm glad that you're back. Uh, how was your week? It was good. Um, sun is out, and I got my first sunburn of the season. Really? Yeah. I, uh, I got to go out more. I missed, I missed the the spray. Mm -hmm. Missed a little, some pieces of my legs. So I got a nice mm. little design going, which was entertaining. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, oh, the wind blew and didn't get my legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you did it outside? Yeah, mistake. I I'm out of season. We haven't had good weather. I got my arms good. I got my face good. It yeah. was just the spray of the legs, and so it's real nice and. Pattern. Oh. See, that's why I like the <laughs> lotion because you make sure you get a good even. Yeah, I'm just, like I'm out of practice. Yeah, I'm very out of practice. That's and wild. So that it I got like a that. really bad sunburn. Oh no. Yeah. Oh well. Or a base coat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that the weather is, is is better. I'm I'm liking it. Probably not very good for my um you know electricity bill, but mm. yeah, at that'll... the same time. I am liking that it's different. Yeah. 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 So I'm glad. So let's talk about today's guest. Today we have Nani Martinez. <laughs> okay. She's a studio manager <laughs> here at the Film Hub. She's going to talk about that a little bit later, but it's not about the Film Hub right now. It's about Nani. Nani. Yeah. Nani. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Well, yeah. we've, we've talked about you a lot on the show. Yeah. We have. We have. <laughs> yeah, We're you always dropping, your, dropping yes. your name. We told your story. Mm -hmm. You were the one who gave us our first mead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Yeah. I should have yeah. brought some. <laughs> that well. would have been a good one. Yeah, no, to bring it back. To just, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, circle it back for us. Yeah, you, yeah we, we do. We talk about you a lot on this on this show. So you got to come Thank back more Thank you for being often. here. Yeah. yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're going to do a little talking with Nani about just community of how, for her, how community is with uh, alcoholic beverages. Mm -hmm. And she brought us some lovely drinks today and I'm so excited about tasting them. I can't wait. I don't care which one you pick first. I'm excited about them all. Like, what are we going to start with? Yes. Okay. And the inspiration behind... Yeah. Yeah, I'm making so us excited. three different drinks. Right. <laughs> There's one drink uh, I want you to try the uh, the first because it's the strongest. Uh, oh. That's going to be this guy right in the middle. So okay. I'm going to pass this out. Thank you. So this first one. Um, fancy. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I, we can. Amazing. I don't want to tell you what it's in it until we all, all right, take well, a sip. Cheers. Okay, well, cheers. Cheers. Okay. 
Is this cinnamon on top? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> you might have to stir it a little. <laughs> is, that, is it rum? Um, it is fireball and rum chata. Oh. And that is it. So that's, all? that's it? That's it. Uh, oh, that's why it's the strongest. Yes. Because it's all alcohol. Yes. And then... <laughs> it doesn't taste like that. So, and then, okay. So, I, I want to preface, all I'm about to say, is, uh, I am not an alcoholic. Uh, okay. <laughs> I am not. But <laughs> whenever I give these, talk about these things, people look at me, you know, like, hmm. Uh, what? But uh, this drink, uh, my friends actually gave me this recipe. Uh, mm -hmm. They call it uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Uh, the oh. Syrup. And I like it. Like it. Yeah. <laughs> for this drink, wow. uh, yeah, what we do is you get a cup um, from Starbucks. And a grande? Yeah, uh, you get a grande cup with water. You dump it out. You fill it with ice. You put this in there with whipped cream, and then you can take it to the movies. Oh. <laughs> Okay, life <laughs> And then the, oh the that was not what I was anticipating you telling us. I right. thought you were giving us the recipe. No. Not how no. to bring it to the movies. <laughs> and you take it to the movies. And and if you want it to look a little more believable, you just mix a little bit of uh, like Nestle's quick uh, to give it a little more <laughs> darker. Oh my god, you always have a DD. <laughs> yes. I That's, mean, for real. So this, I thought you couldn't bring external drinks to the movies. You can. It, it, it depends, like the oh. movie theater. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, it depends on the movie theater. If they have like uh, if they're the ones, the nice ones that sneak bring in it. popcorn in here, you are bringing right. in because it's like, rum or chata. Because <laughs> AMC got security. They be trying to tackle you. You try to bring something. Yeah, but the, here's the thing: if uh, if if you bring in like a container from home, yeah, it's gonna look suspicious, especially if you have like a water bottle, but it's right. like red or something. Mm -hmm. Um. So, no, but if you have a Starbucks the, cup and then it's, it's got the label on it, exactly. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Not me drunk at the Mario movie. We took this to the D and D movie. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we took this in. Um, Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. Okay. That's Just clarifying. <laughs> yeah, we're. I'm mad that I knew that without asking. <laughs> I'm upset about it, it. I mean, if you, it's on Stranger Things. It's oh, it's all over. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's not too niche. It's not you know. Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, mm -hmm. you guys are drinking this really quick. <laughs> are we? Oh, let me slow down. Mm. But well, it's, it's good. Tasty. Though. It's, it's so super good. Yes. So you topped it with what? With cream? Uh, and with cream and just a little bit of cinnamon to add color. Yeah. Um, and then give it that real frappuccino look. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would have never expected that that's what that was. That it was just, just fireball just, and rum horchata? And uh, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I hate fireball. Yeah. Uh, but when it's like my, this. That used to be my thing. Especially back when I lived in Japan, we used to set them on fire to make it even more of a fireball. Ooh. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Make it more smoky? Sounds make dangerous. it more. No, it was just. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Just the theatrics of it. You just set it on fire at the top and then you just take it back. I got a whole story about how somebody made it go wrong. But other than that, is it like send your nose hairs? hairs? No. Oh. Uh -uh. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Very good. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but yeah. Um. So what? How? Uh, what is the ratio? How do you? One to one. One to oh, one. Oh, okay. If you like it more on the sweeter side, then you could do two um, of the rum chata, one fireball. Okay. But uh, for this one, it's just one to one. Uh, it's very strong, um, and for me, it kind of feels like I'm drinking a milkshake. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Yes, yeah. that's why I'm like. That's why here. mine is coming down. So mm -hmm. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm cool. oh, that's one thing. And about then I'm gonna be like. <laughs> I was going to also say, one thing about me is, like, that I, I consider that my superpower is making very strong drinks without them tasting strong. Like You fucking nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been a resident bartender at my house since mm -hmm. I was 12. You have I've, a lot of experience. Yes, yeah. I grew up in a household where, uh, you know, alcohol uh, was used to, like, for celebrations, for happy times, uh, to make meals better. It wasn't really, like... Uh, frowned upon or like you know yeah. yeah and so it was always like oh have a sip here have a taste here um and then you know it started off really basic stuff you know uh corona putting salt and lime on the rim mm -hmm. and then it eventually you graduated uh, into yeah this. yeah i mean making fake starbucks drinks yeah yeah <laughs> alcoholic strawberry <drinks. laughs> alcoholic. 
Yeah. Starbucks drinks. Really? Whoa. It's yeah. It's uh, alcohol is a. Uh, it's a a family affair. I don't know. It's like oh, like the first time you know I was drinking my family. Uh, like actually, like when I was old enough to drink. Um, yeah, because I mean, it's okay. Yeah. Oh. We 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 know. <laughs> We know oh, about you your mistake. when you were six oh, years old. Th- yeah, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, but that was your that was your mom. That was her. That and was. I never knew it was alcohol until like years later. I thought she just forced me to drink a gross water bottle. Mm. Yeah, I did not know until I was twelve that it was vodka, and then really? I was like, "This explains so much." <laughs> right. Oh, right. But did your brother too? Uh, my oldest, uh, the brother who had it was six years older than me at the time. Oh, so, so he, he knew. He knew. Um, but yeah, I mean, and then that's not the first time. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> that's not the first time one of us got access to alcohol when we weren't supposed to. Uh-huh. Uh, when my brother, uh, it was some wedding and my older brother, he was three. So I wasn't even born yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody was, uh, there was, you know, older cousins watching the younger cousins, but you uh, know. Yeah, he, one of those things. Yeah. 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 He snuck away. <laughs> it was a wedding. Everyone was dancing on the dance floor. And then they just, they look over and at the tables, they see just a little head, like just popping. And they're like, what? And they get a little closer. It's it's my older brother taking the re- anything with a red so look up, grabbing it, chugging it, and, and then going the next one, and then chugging it, and then just going, chugging it. So. <laughs> how, how, first of all, how many kids does your mom have? Three. I will say we're, we, <laughs> uh, one brother is a, a scientific, uh, uh, economics, oh my gosh, environmental scientist, and then the other one's an engineer. So it's like, we're good, we're fine, we're not like I mean, I just, I just, I just shared the other day that, um, a uh, school did studies that the oldest had the highest IQ. So this is making uh. sense. At the same time, mommy should have stopped at one when she saw that one. Bouncing yeah. up and down bouncing the around, fi- finding the solo cups. <laughs> that, that was the middle child. That was the middle. And that was the oh, middle. that was the middle yeah. one. So the oldest, I don't, I don't think we have any stories where he got into alcohol. He just yeah. don't know. I mean, the oldest, you know, we're always the smartest one, so it makes, makes uh, a lot of sense of why. We, I don't know uh, about that. We, <laughs> I'm the baby of the family, oh, so I'm gonna have to always, disagree. You know. I'm in the middle, so we've got an older oh, yeah. <laughs> baby and a middle, so we're all going to well, defend our spots in yeah. the family. You guys can if you want to. I'm just saying. That, uh, Scientifically proven. Studies Scientifically have proven. shown that the yeah, oldest the experts has the, say, the, experts say yes. that the oldest has the highest IQ. Hmm. Debatable. Mm-hmm. I mean, my sister, she might be one number down. But what I'm saying is I still have the highest. You know? yeah. <laughs> You're still on top. Right, I'm still on top. <laughs> yeah. I, like I met, b- both my other brothers are, uh, you know, they're very smart in their careers. They got to do biology and you know, they got to do math so sure mm-hmm. well, i'll give it to them right but in, uh, and you're the creative i'm the creative yeah. yeah uh like flavor profiles i love like figuring that out it's really fun for me yeah, yeah. do you cook too i do yeah uh, for cooking i always stick by a recipe though oh. this I, I didn't go off recipes for this i didn't like look up anything for these uh, mm-hmm. this was all just like oh that sounds good you know yeah mm-hmm. Yeah, I love uh, mixing. I'm um, uh, anything but the kitchen sink type of uh, mixologist. So I'll oh. I'll go to some place's house, somebody's house, figure out what they have, figure out what goes together. Yeah, Armando's I love really that. good at that. Really? He's really good at making something out of nothing. And I just be like, bro, we only had three ingredients <laughs> in the fridge. How did you make a full five quarts meal? Yeah, that with three that's ingredients. That's talent. Yeah, yes. it really is. So for you to have that, I'm pretty sure it's yeah, it's really yeah, fun. Yeah, it's really nice in there. Yeah, again, two older brothers. So you know, you got to figure out. You got to make what you have work. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever challenged yourself in terms of like going to places and yeah. he's like, okay, so you guys got absin, you got a pickle juice. And then there's cranberry juice over here. Okay, how do we make this shit go together? Have it's, you ever, like... It's so funny you say that. Uh-huh. And I feel like it's too early to move to the second drink, but I'm going to move to the second drink. Okay. For you guys specifically, Okay. I challenged myself. Okay. And I said, and I, I watched the podcast, mm. and you guys said the, uh, um, how you wanted pickles. And you wanted pickle <laughs> drinks. Because we love pickles. We love pickles. <laughs> So I challenged myself to make you guys the pickle, pickle drink. Once, once I found out that Paige loves pickles, I said, oh, this podcast going up. 
Because yeah. <laughs> that means that we're definitely a match made in heaven. Yeah. I love pickles people, too. Pickles Not anyway. a lot of people do though. <laughs> what? Yeah. I hated pickles growing up. But I only had like pickles on the burgers and like Jack in the Box and oh, McDonald's. Right. So you like, didn't have Kraft pickles. Yeah. Uh, it's not. It's not like <laughs> super good. It's not like craft. Like it's you can get at the supermarket. It's like yeah. nine bucks. Um, Is it the Grillos? Yes. Oh, those are the best pickles. <laughs> Did you see them in the fridge? I no, I didn't see them in more. the fridge. We but after. we we, we have a a heavy supply of Grillos at the house mm -hmm. at all times. No, yes. it, I they love sell them at Costco. So you they can sell them at Target. see the dill, and you can see like the <laughs> yeah, other ingredients. The and then mm -hmm. it's like, oh, this is big things of garlic. Yes. So good. Yeah. All right. Well, have you had gorillas? I have not, but I can't oh. wait. Let's cheers. Well, right, you're cheers. about to. <laughs> okay, yeah. so what is this? Tell us what oh, this is. Oh, drink it first. Oh, oh yeah. That's it. Ah. That is pickle juice, in a, but it's sweet. Mm-hmm. First of all, please. It's okay if you don't like it. You won't no, have no, my feelings. No, it's good. It's good. But I'm scared because it reminds me of the moonshine. Oh. Where it's just like pickle juice and you oh. barely can taste any alcohol. This you can't so taste I any need, alcohol. I need to know what's in here. Okay, so for this one, I did one part pickle juice, uh, -huh. uh one part um elderflower liqueur, okay, and then one part gin. Oh, that's why you like this one. That's why this is my favorite. <laughs> Oh, and then uh, just to give it, when I tried it, it tasted a little flat. So mm -hmm. I did put a little bit of uh, club soda just to like, mm -hmm. just to lighten it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I could shoot that. That's delicious. That is. That, you, that's a nice shot. That's good. Like if you make shots of this. Yeah. Oh, God. That's why I also I know who I'm hiring for my parties now. <laughs> for sure. Well, she yeah. has how what many are... years of experience? Right. Yeah. So she's so, the most experienced bartender I've ever I met. Know. <laughs> so to throw it back to the film hub for a moment. <clears throat> yes, uh, please. One of the things we like to do uh, here to like help build community is we do uh, members events, and one of the things I love to do for members event is make mixed drinks. Yes. Figure out, uh, you know, what uh, tastes good together. Uh, we'll plan. Uh, fun events for people to do. Um, I've been doing events uh, for this company for five years, mm -hmm. um, but I've they're been... fun. <laughs> you do a great job. I try. I try to make it uh, fun and accessible for everybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Try to make also drinks that are non-alcoholic too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but still like mixed. Um, so you like the craft of it is basically what I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's really fun. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've been doing. My mom uh, has been. She worked for the city for 30 years, City of mm -hmm. San Marcos, and she would do all these like uh, outreach programs and all these like kid, uh, you know, safety programs. Mm -hmm. So I've been helping her since I was nine, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm very comfortable. Like hosting. Yes. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm, trust me, I'm going to have some parties in the future where I'm, I'm going to need some, some ghost, you know? Yeah. You're yeah. I need some pickle gin. Some pickle gin. Wait, did you name this at all? Oh, I forgot to tell you that. Yes. This one, uh, it's. Again, I made this guy just for you guys. Okay. Oh, uh, this is no big deal. No big deal. Oh, I love it. I love it. Bring it in. I'm so excited. Oh my god. This so one good. was the one I was like, I was like, oh, I don't know if they're gonna like it, but mm -hmm. I'm glad. No, it's good. <laughs> I mean, I like the the accent of the little pickle on mm -hmm. the glass. Yeah, that's cute. And the garnish in the glass. It's this so is good. this is amazing. The grillos, man. Mm -hmm. Is this what it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Very legit. There's so like when you can see the ingredients in it. I just I want to make my own pickles. That's the next thing I'm gonna do. Yes, yeah. my dream too. Mm -hmm. Your dream is to make it's to make pickles. I want to just pickle a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I because I love them so much. Like I like hot pickles, sour pickles, dill. Mm -hmm. I love it except sweet. Like the really, really, really sweet pickles. Mm. Can't do them. Like mm -hmm. if they're a little sweet and a little bit dill, I'm like. Mm. Do you like the chips or the spears? I love it all. Oh, I don't care. Do you have a preference? Spears for sure. Spears. Mm -hmm. I don't care. The chips just make it faster. easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, the spear at least I can take my time because the juice and you know you gotta like have a nap. I just feel like they're crunchier. Yeah. If you're they are. If you're eating it by yourself, the spear. But if you're frying them, it's gotta be the chips. Oh, like fried pickles. Oh, yes. oh yeah. Oh yeah, those are good. What's, yeah. oh, sorry. It I'm doesn't like, make I'm any sense of how good they are. 
It doesn't make any sense. And for those of you out there who do not like pickles, (laughs) suck it. Like tough shit. Yeah, tough (laughs) shit. Yeah, suck it because this. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank. I'm so happy. See, this is. Oh my god. This is how it pays (laughs) off to listen, right? Yeah. Yeah. To listen to our show and figure out the things that Paige and I like. Because that's what we do all day. Paige and I. <laughs> all day? All day. <laughs> Paige and I go and we research people and try to find out what it is that they like mm-hmm. and try to make sure that we get it. And for you to come on here and do something that we like, Nani, you, you're the you. one out the two. I, I try my Aww. best. That's, that's a big deal that she just said that. Yeah. That, that makes me so happy. <laughs> that's, I, this I, is amazing. <laughs> I just try. I like to make people happy. I like to see people. Well, girl, I'm exci- I'm excited. You just <laughs> didn't just make fantastic. me happy. This is. I love this. I'll, I'll make sure to write down the recipe for you, please. Yes. Also, what? No, 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 no. You don't have to write it down for me. You just go come over there and make it. I was like, okay. yeah, just make it for us. <laughs> that works. That works. Um, what is your favorite beverage? Yeah. Like, what do you like to drink oh. the most? Or I feel like it's always like. You can't just narrow it down to one. It's got to be like, what's the vibe? Like, what are you, what are you yeah, trying to get? That's true. Yeah. Like, if I'm cleaning, uh, like a margarita. Like, mm. a margarita running on the house cleaning. Uh-huh. Um, if it's like a hot, like, you know, July day uh, and you have to be in the heat, I, like, that's winery. That's, you go to a winery, you taste a bunch of different wine. Um, but like, re- yeah. most times, like, every Friday I go drink mead. Me this probably me this probably my favorite. No, I'm gonna have to join you on one of these mead Fridays. Yes. Mead days. Yeah, I I love mead. There's a bunch of different uh, me mead. The mead her mead my <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Paige, just so I'm glad you're back. Terrible. Yeah, I'm glad you. Back. <laughs> you need this mead, right? <laughs> That's why I'm glad you're back. I'm gonna know, come never. <laughs> never make a terrible joke. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. It yeah. was good. But yeah, oh yeah, that's good. And what what mm-hmm. other um drinks do you enjoy? Um I recently got into any drink where they light something on fire. Oh. That's I love the the smoky. I actually I was listening to your podcast. Thank you. <laughs> and uh Say it again for the people cuz they I was listening to the wonderful podcast Odd Pairings. Yes, okay. And mm-hmm. they uh I listened to the episode about misadventure. And oh, then yeah. I, I went out there. Oh my gosh! They had this drink. Uh, I was like midnight something, and they lit uh, rosemary on fire, and like you could see, like like the, you could smell the smoke throughout the space. And I was like, I want whatever that is, and it was That's so, so cool. good. And I'm I'm loving because you know, speaking of like you you doing with like the you know more of crafting with like spirits. I love a good aesthetic to a drink. Mm-hmm. Like, if the aesthetic is good, it also has to match the taste, right? Yeah. Because I just can't have you just throwing no shit together and then I'm supposed to be like, oh, yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> no. Because it's on fire. Because it's on fire. <laughs> right. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. Right. So part of it is I'm really loving, like, where the space is now for just different alcohol drinks are happening. Because it's the same thing with craft beer, right? Mm. So everybody has, like, leveled up like different beers, mm-hmm. right? And so they're doing the same thing with cocktails. And I didn't think that cocktails could even be leveled up anymore mm-hmm. because they already were on their own level. Yeah. yeah. So now that people are even getting more, like I saw one guy on, on like Instagram where he put like a piece of ice that looked like a bowl onto like a, uh, a whiskey glass and then poured the drink over. And I was like, I got to taste oh that, God, sir. Yes. I, I, know, I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with ice in circles and squares. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like any ice in any form except for a standard ice shape, <laughs> like, I love. Cube, yes. get out of here. <laughs> Anything else, love it. I, Unless it's like a big block cube. Yeah. yeah. I, again, to throw it back to the film hub, mm-hmm. uh, everything um, uh, c- that my boss does is very, like, detailed, very intentional. Like, uh-huh. you know, the stuff you'll see back here. Oh, yeah, here. she's amazing. Uh, she's fantastic. Yeah. Shout out to Lauren. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, so I'm, like... Yeah, I think she helped train my eye yeah. for like what looks aesthetically pleasing. Like Ooh. I could have put these on just regular, you know, uh, water glasses. Yeah, but no, like, like variety in size mm-hmm. and shape and the trait. Yeah, it's almost like your tongue is story with an object. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and that's yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, oh, it is. I love, <laughs> I love it. it. <laughs> 
Um, so let's kind of get into like your, we're going to kind of go back to actually your family aspect yeah, of this yeah. whole thing. So yes. what is a drink in your family that you guys, when you guys get together, it's like a must that be there? Oh, well, um, it's got to be uh, either Modelo's or Corona, mm-hmm. which like, that's just like what was around growing up. Uh, my dad and, you know, my uncles, uh, my grandpa, they would just like sit around. That'd be like the go-to drink yeah, or Bud Light, you know, something light. Because, um, uh-huh. you know, that was the drink while you're grilling. You uh-huh. know? Mm, yeah. you got to stay hydrated. You were. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And water yeah. don't do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now you got to have a little flavor. <laughs> got to have a little flavor. <laughs> And then, uh, actually, um, during uh, COVID, while we were on lockdown, um, one thing that, uh, you know, because it was just me, uh, my two brothers, uh, and then uh, my brothers, my sister-in-law and my brother's uh, fiance, Uh uh, basically, every weekend was a party. Every weekend was like a, you know, way to rally to like get over the week. It's not like um, family I need to be part of. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and uh, at that point, it was a lot of... Um, Again, you know, it's the anything but the kitchen sink. So yeah. a lot of vodka, um, Malibu drinks. Uh, we would do a lot of Trulies and then mm-hmm. just pour a little mixed bit of... Truly, mixed Trulies? Yes. Mixed? Yes. Mixed drinks with truly. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It would yeah. be like a truly with um, uh, Malibu or vodka in it. Mix that up. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. It was yeah. a party. Oh, yeah. It was great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, mean, I always thought about doing that, but at the same time, I didn't know like what I would mix it with. That would be... Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. there we go. As long as you don't drink too much, you have water, one water bottle in between each drink. Exactly. Um, you'd be fine. Right. Right. Yeah. You and can the- experiment all you want. <laughs> <laughs> TM. Right. <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, yeah, drinking, again, the drinking wasn't very, uh, wasn't a, like, um, oh, don't do it. It's a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm really thankful for my parents for, like, wa- raising me with, like, that mindset. Because I see a lot of, there's a lot of kids in my high school that, uh, you know, as soon Did as they got that. their hands on something, mm-hmm. uh, I'd hear stories. And I'm like, why were you why? drinking that straight out of the bottle? Like, that doesn't sound like fun. Like right. You're like, and I know it doesn't taste good. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, that was the other thing is, like, I yeah. hated alcohol for a long time because, mm-hmm. again, it was a sip here or there, and I hated I hated the taste of beer. I hated the taste of wine. Um, so then I wasn't curious when, uh, you know, you go to p- parties in high school and then there'd just be random bottles, so I wasn't – I, I knew what I liked. I knew what I didn't like. And most stuff I was just like, eh, it's fine. Yeah. I can I mean, get this at home, you know. Exactly. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. Yeah. Exactly. What a time to be alive, though. Because I think that I wouldn't survive with alcohol if I was, like, in the early, early stages of mm-hmm. alcohol. Because mm-hmm. I don't like alcohol just plain. I don't like beer just plain. I don't like any of that. So I think that now, that now things are being crafted, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And the mixologists are in the building. At the same time, I'm just like, this is the this is the time mm-hmm. for those that had to taste it back in like the early 1800s. Oh, oh that's that was like yes. in the 90s. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh-uh. We're going back to the because even in the 90s, like and even in the 1900s, they started bringing in the cosmopolitan, the old fashioned, mm-hmm. and, you know, yeah. like all of these types. So people started to craft it like a little bit. I think that, but ne- they weren't like widely accessible. No. They you were like for the elite. Yeah. Exactly. Like think about an old fashioned in, in the cosmopolitan and, and the martini. Like all of those were people dressed up in like suits, like drinking these particular things. I want to dress up in a suit. You say you want to? Yeah. Oh yeah. Feel fancy? Oh yeah. yeah. Just like, go get some drinks. Feel fancy. I try to get do some it. drinks. I try to do it every time. <laughs> I got I got that scheduled. I have that on my calendar. Me and my friends were all gonna dress up and go to the wineries and do a photo shoot just oh my for God, fun. I love it. You yeah. have to. Yes. It's fun. That's fun. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, I, I'm loving that we're now in an age where this is a thing. People are experimenting. People are mm-hmm. making it more fun to drink. People are doing all of these fun things with it because, yeah, I don't know how I would have, I probably would, wouldn't have drank at all mm. if it oh. was like during that time. Yeah. It would have just been a no go. I think for the alcohol industry, though, it's like more challenging. Um, for them to market to consumers because consumers drink everything Mm because everything's crafted now. Mm -hmm. Where before, there weren't as many options. Mm -hmm. And so you would have someone was like, oh, I just drink 
Bud Light or I'm just a beer drinker or something. Yeah. And yeah. there weren't tons of options and styles or if there were, mm -hmm. they were very micro and they weren't widely accessible. And that's yeah. not how it is now. Yeah. And same thing with like I cocktails, like mm -hmm. the accessibility of the innovation of drinks and alcohol is like so much more widely available mm -hmm. that it's really hard for the alcohol industry to like keep consumers like or certain sections of the alcohol industry because the consumer drinks everything yeah, versus yeah. being loyal to one type yeah. of thing. It's really, yeah. which is like, like, it's a good thing and a and a not good thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I, I kind of like it because just like what Nani was saying earlier when you asked her what is her favorite drink and she started going through like the vibe. She just named everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, like the vibe. <laughs> I, like, oh, okay. I like everything. Of a drink. And I can relate to that because I'm yeah. the same way. Like even though I would have my, because I do have my favorite spirits, I have my favorite mm -hmm. wine, but at the same time, I do kind of go different places with it, depending on the vibe. Yes, of where and I'm what at. you're looking for. I feel, yeah. like, I feel like nowadays, it's you can't just say, "Oh, I don't like gin" or "I don't like uh, you know vodka," because you might not like the ones you've tried so far. But right. with exactly. all the again, new... there's so many more options. Yeah, uh, I need somebody to come in and change my mind about vodka, though. Oh, cause... I'll get you some vodka peaches. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! I yeah, make somebody might change my mind. You make vodka peaches? Yeah. It's you, you just gonna, <laughs> look at her, she's like, oh yeah, I just, she's, she's like, like, it's nothing. I don't know, Tuesday, I'm just out here just making, uh, you gotta bring those in. Yeah, yeah, or, mm -hmm. you know, I, I love making, um, also infused strawberries, uh, Ooh. with vodka or, uh, rum. Um, I always get a big case, um, after the strawberry festival and oh. try and do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the strawberry festival. Oh yeah. It's coming up here. Yes. So for the Phil Hub. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah. So the Strawberry Festival um, is run by the Vista Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are now doing a film festival um, in collaboration with them. So, Ooh. yeah, we're doing um, a couple different prizes and then uh, people submit their films. It's a great way. Uh, it's also during the festival, which like over has like over 10,000, something crazy amount of people. Mm -hmm. number, it's a yeah. big number. A bunch of booths. Yeah. yeah. So then we show the films here, and then um, people can come vote. And then the Audience Choice Award winner uh, gets a gift uh, card, or gets a cash prize of $250. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. fun. That mm -hmm. is. I like that. Yeah. Was, this is the second year that yes. we've done the film festival? Mm -hmm. This is the second year. Um, and it's a great w uh, way to, like, you know, if you're going out and you're checking out all the booths and you're doing all the fun stuff, uh, if you need a break from the heat, Comes in the AC, watch the videos, relax Ooh. for a minute. Mm -hmm. Get to see the facility. Oh, yeah. Get to come check out the beautiful space. Get to yeah. see our uh, fully designed yeah, sets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. I like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into this uh, This drink number three. While drink I number sip three. On drink number two. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's a little heavier. Uh, you might want to mix it just a little bit. Cause okay. I'm trying not to. Um, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want all my pickles to to go away. So I'm trying to like sip it slow, but at the same time I'm enjoying it. <laughs> and then I put on a tahini rim in my family, and that's a must if we're doing mixed drinks. It's a mine too. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how you know it's good. If you can slurp it. Mango. Mm-hmm. Um. So. Um, Pineapple. Sorry, not mango. Oh, <laughs> like, sorry. Damn it. <laughs> so. Same thing. That pineapple and mango are interchangeable. <laughs> yeah. uh, so this one is uh, pineapple. So this to get, this is one of my uh, drinks that I was mentioning that I do with my family. You just kind of mm -hmm. grab stuff. So I'm trying to remember what I put in here. Because oh. I just grabbed stuff this morning that I had. Um, but Sierra Mist, uh, this orange juice. Pineapple juice, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, alcohol. Oh, the alcohol is Cheetos vodka. <laughs> oh, oh, this is your vodka. Here this we is... go. <laughs> and then um, a little bit of simple syrup uh, on the rim with tahini. Do you make well, your own simple well. syrup? Oh uh, no, I have, but this time with store bought because okay. I'm lazy. Because <laughs> with simple syrup, what is the, how do you make it? Is it? Uh, it's just. Um, two to one? Four to one? It depends. Oh. Uh, I've, you could do two. Two to one will work, but I've done uh, four to one. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's also how you make hummingbird food. Yes. So what is, tell me, because I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> uh, sugar water. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
That's it. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Uh, it's just sugar water. Um, mm-hmm. And then we'll do that. We'll put that in old fashions, too, the way we make them. Mm-hmm. So we'll do um, a – my dad loves old fashions. We got into those, uh, like, the last two years. But sugar cube, put some simple syrup on it, put some bitters on it, and then uh, you crush it up, um, and then you put – Like you muddle it or – Yes. Okay. Uh, and then – oh, gosh, what was it, whiskey? Uh, I can't bourbon. remember. Brandy? Bourbon? Bourbon, bourbon. Yeah, <laughs> I get them mixed up. <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody correct us out there. Yeah, but it's one of them. Uh, it's yeah, the dark liquor. Sure it's, it's, the, it's the dark liquor. You pour that in, and then uh, orange twist, and then we light it on fire for just a little bit. Oh, oh. Well, because you have to bring in some fire. Of you course, bring in that flame. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't use uh, don't use blowtorch. <laughs> oh really? Oh, oh really? What, what the, do you, in, don't you use a blower torch, torch on in, your in orange peel. <laughs> so we we did it one time, mm-hmm. and uh, my uh, my sister in law had just gotten a small blow torch meant for cooking. It, you, oh, for like creme brulee. For, exactly, we got it for a creme brulee that she was making, and you're supposed to burn the sugar. And uh, I don't know who grabbed it. Somebody grabbed it. Uh, but they grab it. Amateur. <laughs> and then... Um, looking to have a good time. Because <laughs> norm- normally we just grab like... With the fire department. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're really nice. It's great. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Very responsive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, normally we just use like the lighter, you know, for like, yeah. a, like a big lighter for candles, you know, yeah. like a long stick. Yeah. And then it's like, boom, boom, you're good. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, we... <laughs> <laughs> we had it uh and the blue torch and just caught just yeah it was, it was well half of it so it was like it didn't like someone burn was holding it. yeah someone was holding it oh uh, god <laughs> it was my, my brother was holding it um i guess he grabbed it but uh <laughs> <laughs> well we found out who it was <laughs> but uh obviously no. your iq must pass you <laughs> No, but we just, you know, put it on the sink. It was mm-hmm. fine. No, nothing major, but, you know, I don't recommend it. Right. <laughs> no. 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 Yeah. But, yeah, that's I love these are probably the drinks. Uh, this is what the cousins drink. So the mm. the, the guys do uh, craft beer or a Bud Light, that kind of stuff. The cousins yeah. uh, will do this or margaritas. And then the moms, uh, they're Bud Light, too. Do you guys have a black cousin? If not, I can I can insert myself as one and come over for drink. <laughs> you want to get a what? What do you need to do to become a cousin? Right. <laughs> oh, you just got to marry one of the cousins. Oh, oh well, well, she's already too, too bad. bad. We're all we're, we're both married, right? So that won't. Well, so we work. need other ways to come in as a cousin because I need to know that when these parties are popping off, I'm there. Yeah. We have, I mean, there. I feel like I've known you for a few years now, and I've never gotten the uh, whoa, the invite. Whoa, yeah, I'm I, calling you out. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've asked you guys out for mead, for sure. Well, that. But That's we need true. to be. That's different. That's different. Still. We go, we, I'm going to be at mead, okay? I still need to know, how do I become a cousin to be invited? <laughs> you know what? Because the thing is, so this is, this is the thing about joining other families. This is what I love about joining other families. Mm-hmm. When you join other families, and let's, I'm going to wrap this up in terms of like community, right? Yeah. <clears throat> when you join other families, you're not responsible anymore for inviting us, right? No. So it takes the pressure off of you a little bit. Because that's why I immediately, I immediately invite people to like, if I have a family get together yeah. and I know you for a good little minute, I'm immediately inviting you. You're in the group chat. Yeah. You're now in there. You're in the group because chat. Because for me, I'm going to forget to invite you. <laughs> I'm. That's just me. My husband... He smacks his lips all the time because he'd be like, damn, you, you always forget to. I'm like, listen, that's not, uh, that's not on my priority list. It's not there. So part of that is, is that when you become part of the family, now everyone can say, now my sister can say, where's Paige and Nani? Oh, yeah. Uh, got you. Don't worry about it. I'm going to hit them up right now. You know, what I mean? like it's that, like yeah. another reminder of I really enjoyed when Paige and Nani was here. Could you invite them again? Yes, I sure can. So now it's not all on me because literally, if you're not in my first three strolls, you're not getting. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I, I, I get that. Uh, yeah. we, we have my brothers because uh, it was so funny that you said like, "How do I get to be a cousin?" We've had uh, people, friends uh, of the family, ask that before. Yeah, and like we're like, let's see who's not married, and like we'll go there. <laughs> 
usually doesn't work out, but. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, but yeah, you're not well, what, a, yeah, what I'm saying is, is that, yeah, honorary. Yeah. Cousin. Yeah, next time we have something, you guys are definitely invited for sure. Aww. Oh, I'm going to be there. Thank you. Yes. That's all you got to do is invite me. The next you day. You better exit. Yeah. You better oh, exit. Yeah, That's yeah. all you got to do is invite me. I'm in there like swimwear, okay? <laughs> don't take me. <laughs> it don't take me long at all to be. Yeah, yeah. that's all you got to do. One time. And now I know your mom and your dad and everybody. Yeah. Yeah, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. And like I said, the responsibility is off Nani now. Where she's like, oh, then it's who my all mom. can she I invite? Known better. Right. Mm-hmm. It's who all can I invite? Now pass the blame. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's her fault. Now I got your brother's numbers. I yeah. got your mom number. I got everybody's number. So now they're like, yeah. oh, she's the party planner. We're so, yeah, doing things. <laughs> Why don't you come out? Of course I'll be there. Yeah, yeah I think the next thing it's we're, nothing. We're, we're making cavesas is the next one. What? Mm-hmm. Wait, okay. what is that? Uh, so it's a uh, cow head. Um, That's what I, I thought you said. Yep. Cabeza, yeah. Yeah. Wrap it up. We put it in a pit overnight, uh, cover it in coals, mm. seal it with mud, mm-hmm. let it cook overnight. Yeah, 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 very yeah. Good, yeah. Very uh-huh. And then uh-huh. tacos? Yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. Lemon, salsa, everything, all the fancy. Oh, God. Yeah, that I sounds we amazing. Just um, and so <laughs> there's a new movie on Netflix called oh. Chupa. Have you? Oh, no. It's, it's not, a Chupacabra thought... movie. Oh, my God. It's like a kid movie. But <laughs> it's about this American boy who goes to visit his Mexican family mm-hmm. and his Mexican cousins have him have a kibasa taco. Oh, yeah. And then he's like eating it, eating it, eating it. And then he's like, what is this? Yes. Mm-hmm. And yes. he was like, oh, it's brains. And he's like, what? And my kids think it's the funniest thing in the world. That, <laughs> I've had that exact experience. Did you? Where, no, like, I, uh, they made, for me, it was lengua, which is tongue. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, no, no one told me what it was. Uh, and then, like, I, I I probably ate it, you know, like, three different times uh, when we made it ourselves. And yeah. then one time I saw my grandpa, because he actually, like, butchers, like, does it all. Um, oh, and I, really? Like, yeah, I saw him, like, actually doing it, and I realized. Cutting off the it. tongue? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And that it oof. Where did where does he buy a cow? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, sorry. That was Where a, do you just take a head from? I'm like, hey, I mean, where do you just get the animal parts like get, that? The, the heads we get already. Where you can cut, cut, cut it off. off. Yeah, the head's already cut off. He cuts the tongue out of the head. Uh but it's pig. The pig he'll like completely gut. Like he'll get a whole pig. You know, yeah. Yeah, but from where? Like a book? I don't like know. oh a place. He's got okay. a guy. All right. He a has guy. a guy that yeah. <laughs> He's not a guy. Because I know I've been to like Mexican meat markets yeah. and they have, um, mm-hmm. you know, they have some of that stuff like yeah. already out. I should and stuff, say. But not, they don't have cow you visit, heads. You visit Korea, heads. you're going to see some wild shit. I'm going to tell you that. I should say he sees it alive first. Oh, he picks Ooh. it out and first. Then, and then, then they take care and of you, it and then he And you it. have no and idea we, where I did. No, is. no. He just shows up he and, you know, it's a pig. He sees it alive first? He, yeah. just he like, picks it. My cousin had a pet goat that it was Kill delicious. sweet face right there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, we had. Yeah, my cousin had a pet goat. Mm-hmm. Uh, they got sick of it. They're it not a delicious. pet. It can't be a pet. What? You missed that. You missed that Hold first on. time. You missed. <laughs> no, it's not a pet. No. If you ate it. Did you hear what she said? She said it was delicious. I heard that part. It's and that's so, what I'm saying is that yeah. if you, you... No, no, no. They got sick of it. <laughs> oh. Also, I don't believe that either. <laughs> We're done with this ghost shit. Cook it up. <laughs> what? Honestly, it was the shit. It was pooping <laughs> everywhere. Oh, my God. I hope I can cuss on this. I, I've been. Okay, cool. It's no fine. One said, no one said anything. Oh, God. <clears throat> oh, that was good. This is good. That was good. This is good. <laughs> All I heard was... They were they sick, sick, sick of, of their his... pet goat, and they it tasted so goat. good. <laughs> they was, I'm tired. You know what? Fucking roast that goat because we're done. Did you put that in the ground and f- too? Is that oh, how you no, roasted no, no. it? No, you just butchered it, and um, I think they made soup. It was. I remember eating the soup. This is okay. why I got to be part of the family. I need to know. <laughs> you need to find out where his grandpa there. gets the pigs, where yeah. the goats are coming from. Where are the goats coming from? I and need this, to it be wasn't, there. It's not like they're in some like rural town in like Mexico. Like this was an ocean side. Mm. Like, oh! <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. I'm like, where yeah. are you buying this oh, FDA approved meat? So this is in the city. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. 
like down the it's not like a wild down, goat walking down the road that they like, found like five blocks away from Nani, like the elementary school Nani, like, I don't Nani, forget the name you yeah. crack me up I didn't know that this episode was gonna be so fucking hilarious this is good <laughs> they in the city <laughs> eating wild shit yeah yeah oh that's good yeah that's good <laughs> I'm so, I'm so <sighs> happy that you're having such a great time at oh, PC. Because <laughs> but Paige, Paige knows. And then and you've been watching the episode. Yeah. Paige knows my mind goes far oh beyond where the yeah. story is. So the only thing I can see is like this goat just taking shits in the yard. And they're like, I am overstepping it. Like somebody stepped in it for the last straw. I'm over it. Gut it. <laughs> I'm yeah. done. Gut it. It's out of here. And, and let's invite you... everyone over for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and they named the goat Pete. Pete is on the table tonight. <laughs> That's what it does. Oh, I'm trying to recall the name. It wasn't Australia. It was. <clears throat> oh my God. You <sighs> named it? I she, love my it. My cousin did. She didn't eat it. She loved, that was her pet goat. She loved that goat. She didn't eat it. Aww. Was it her choice for it to die? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear? She said somebody was sick of the goat. They yeah, was, but it couldn't. Made them sound like it was her. I don't they didn't so. give a shit about her. <laughs> they didn't care anything about how she felt about that goat. They was ready to get rid of it. They was tired of this goat. <laughs> yeah, poor goat. <laughs> well, grass fed. Well, <sighs> well, grass fed. Right. Uh, free, range. Range. free range. Yeah. <laughs> Right. In the backyard. Yeah, it was his own wagon. Probably wasn't probably it? wasn't eating trash. <laughs> it was his own wagon, wasn't it? His own wagon. 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 Oh, this should not be this funny, but I am dead on the it's inside. The drinks. I'm also so much funnier when people drink. You're That's funny all the time. Oh, thank yeah. You. What you mean? Well, I'm You're more welcome. funny. <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, this is this is good. Um, so going back to let's <laughs> now that we kind of hit a little bit in terms of like the community piece of it, um, how when when I think about you doing this for the film hub, right? Mm -hmm. What is it that you're that you're thinking about in terms of like bringing everybody together? Oh well, one of the big things. Uh, so we have, um, like, uh, the, or the company itself has some guiding principles. Mm -hmm. um, and a few of those um, are uh, respect, uh, discernment, and I forget the third one. I'm going to get in trouble for that. But uh, Don't fire her today. <laughs> but <laughs> Don't say something like that. Right. <laughs> Make something up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. If it's not the third, it should be. <laughs> I was going to I, I was gonna say... Um, uh, respect, you know, like you, if someone has like uh, certain dietary restrictions or allergies or whatever, um, we want them to be able to have just as much fun just as everybody it. else. Yeah. yeah. And then discernment is uh, knowing what to say at the right time. Mm. You know, we, if we see someone struggling, I, you know, I want to be able, I want to know, you know, our members. I want to know like what's going on in their lives. Mm -hmm. You know, if they need mm -hmm. to talk, you know, we can talk or, yeah. you know, be a, um, if they need advice, if they're working on a project, I've, I've definitely had people come up, uh, while I'm, you know, I'm working at the front desk and the, Oh, Hey, I'm making, uh, like I'm making, um, uh, this thing, this, uh, scent. Can you smell this? Can you tell me what you think? Or, Hey, I just took this picture. What do you think of this? Mm -hmm. You know, that must be so cool to like be a part of or Everybody like, ev like yeah. yeah, be a part of all these different types of businesses and yeah, like yeah, that's I absolutely so unique. love it. Like yeah, and then I get to see I get to see their growth because mm. then yeah. like um you know uh, someone will show me like oh this is uh this is something I'm just starting it's just a, an inkling of an idea I don't really know what do you think and, you see and then and then I see it. yes and oh. it's absolutely amazing we we love to see uh people. We love to see people outgrow us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we love, you know, them, they're coming in. They're like, it's rocky, uh, but I'm going to, you know, work through it. And they're like, hey, I'm I'm going to go off and I'm going to do something bigger. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, and we're happy for them. That's the way it's supposed to be, though. Yeah. That, that is exactly the way, especially when you're building a community. Yes. That's mm -hmm. the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be, let me help you in the beginning stages. Mm -hmm. And then I want to see your you support, grow. Be your support. Be your cheerleader. Yeah. 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 Like, that's the way it's yeah. supposed to be. There's a, a, a Nowadays, I feel like a lot of spaces, it's like, oh, here's a key. 
let me know get th- give me the 30 minute the 30 day notice bye and like that's, that's it. it yeah but that's not what it's like no no here. we no. we like to you know connect people be like oh hey so and so's doing this and then you know because i remember i introduced you to zeke and mm-hmm. i was like hey guys where you should work together you should do yeah. a podcast that'd be yeah. cool yeah. You know? yeah yeah all that fun stuff you know i mean it was is when i was coming here because you had an mm-hmm. office here and mm-hmm. so when when i would just just come here just to you know like hang out um it still felt this welcoming. It wasn't like yeah. stranger alert, stranger danger, <laughs> lock your offices. It wasn't any of no. that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was very like welcoming everybody. You know, they know your name, remember your name mm-hmm. and all of this. So this this space and this atmosphere and you're part of the reason why yeah. this atmosphere is the way that it is. Because I think I saw somebody new up there one day and I was like, who are you, ma'am? <laughs> I don't we know. Like, Where's Nani? <laughs> Where's Nani? I feel lost. Even though I know every direction of how to, I feel lost in here. Where's yeah. Nani? <laughs> yeah. What is going on? So, yeah. So, I first of all, I appreciate who you are oh, thank you. to this. Even with you being the studio manager and you sitting at the front, mm-hmm. you're a huge part of what goes on here. Mm-hmm. So I appreciate that and appreciate you bringing these drinks on here. Yeah, I'm really, I'm just so happy you guys like them. Like, honestly, that's like the, the best thing. <laughs> you did fantastic. Thank so you. I know that this is going to be a super hard question. Oh, God. You're but right. try right. your best. <laughs> I've been drinking. I'm ready for anything. Oh, perfect. <laughs> try your Give best. It to her. <laughs> because you, it sounds like you have a lot that you, you do love about making drinks. Mm-hmm. But we still want to know. Name any three ingredients you think would create a unique and fun drink. Like on <laughs> like just by themselves? Just by themselves. Oh. Only three. Don't go only four. Three. I want to challenge you. Don't go four. Don't go so oh, I'll only do two oh. and maybe add one. No. Three. Mm. Okay. I think I would do like just like just off the top of my head. Yeah, yes. just off the dome. Okay. <laughs> It's off the yes. dome. What you right got? off the dome. <laughs> right off the dome. <laughs> I would say muddled strawberries. Okay. Like okay. fresh. Okay. And then um uh what's it called? The nectar uh juice that you get at the store and it's like brand nectar. Uh the mango uh oh. kiwi, whatever the the fruit punch mix. Uh-huh. And then um I would do ooh. It is, ooh, Malibu rum. I think that'd be it. And Malibu rum. That sounds like a good, like summer like drink. Very summery yeah. drink. Yeah, that sounds like that's something like yeah. super good. For and the, the, the nectar juice is cheap and it's thick. <laughs> like it's so concentrated. Like it's cheap so and sweet. Thick. <laughs> cheap and thick. <laughs> sounds like a, a nice day in Italy. <laughs> well, you know. Anyway, cheap and thick. Got it. Then on a lot of the juices I like to do are like uh, really cheap stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just feel like it's just like I know it's come from concentrate, mm-hmm. but it just tastes. You know, the taste like comes richer. through a lot better. Yeah, yeah it's a little richer. Yeah, because like you know, I could you know stand there squeezing my own oranges by hand, but you know. Yeah, who got the kind of time? Hey, that too. That too. Yeah, yeah. I got dreams. Dreams <laughs> to make. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> in a hurry. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, in For lots of people. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so um, you gave us a drinking story, which was amazing. Oh, yes. Yes. That's my, whenever I drink, that's my favorite to tell. It is. It's a good one. It's such a good one because I can see you like drinking this hot, what you think is water. And just chugging it. And chugging it. Vodka. Like, yes. I'm and then done. police being like. <laughs> Something's wrong with Something's your daughter. Wrong with your daughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was actually I, I did have as that. you stumble down the stairs at the Padre Stadium. <laughs> I think my dad carried me out. Honestly. Oh, well, that's 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 good too. Yeah. <laughs> so you gave us that great story. Do you have any more? Because we always have everybody to do a mm-hmm. drinking story. Um. Well, I do have uh, my 21st birthday. Okay. Oh, the 21st yeah. is Let's always. So, so it's a good one. That was actually the first time I ever got sick. Oh. That was my 20. I never beforehand, I never got my hand on enough alcohol to get right. sick. Well. But uh, the story is basically a list. It's the list oh. of the things I was made to drink. Okay. Made. Yes. So <laughs> I got a cousin. Wow, peer pressure really got you that day, didn't it? So these parties. Family pressure. It's, it's, it's family like... pressure. <laughs> 
I so I got again. Some of these people aren't really family, mm-hmm. but I've called them cousins because yeah. I mean that's honor, what, that's what we're honor. trying to get on the list, <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> I, I, so I, when you I, tell this story now, it's gonna be us, yes. and <laughs> so my cousin Lily, she uh-huh. made Jello shots, three okay. different flavors. All three flavors were different uh, types of liquor. I think it was like vodka, Malibu, and uh, something else, uh, tequila. And so I took two of each. Uh, and then my cousin Jay, uh, wanted to sh- have a glass of whiskey with me. So I had a, gla- a glass of whiskey with him. Mm-hmm. And then, um, uh, my cousin Alina was drinking Truly. She wanted me to have Truly's with her. So I had a few with her. And then, uh, my aunt wanted to have a margarita with me. So we had a margarita together. And then, I'm uh, counting it. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. my cousin Sammy wanted to take shots. So we took shots. Uh, and then, yeah, this is spread over a long time. It was I was like going to say, was this starting early in the day? Oh, yeah. I right. think we started like 3 o'clock. And we partied all the way till midnight. Um, oh, yeah. That's a long day. Yeah. And then, you know, you eat in between and, you know, there's nachos mm-hmm. and, you know, the, there's kids. So we're playing games with the kids mm-hmm. and whatever. Uh, and then, I forget, somebody said keg stand. I don't know who. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> somebody said so, so you did that? There's video of me somewhere oh. doing my first ever keg stand with my dad and my brother holding my legs. I love oh, that. Fun. I love that your dad was part family of it. affair. It's I a family love affair. It. Yeah. And <laughs> so good. Uh, and then by the end of the night, uh, I, my the, that so the oldest brother helped me with the cake stand, and then my uh, the middle brother, um, he end of the night it's weighing down. He's like. Here is a three hundred dollar whiskey. Come drink it with us. And I'm like, no, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. That's why I gotta be part of this family. Yeah, <laughs> they drink three hundred dollar whiskey. Today. Yeah, that's okay. true. And no, yeah. and then he told me the price, and I was like, okay. Well, I can't let well, that go. I can't. <laughs> it sounds like he needs to have somebody drink it. That's yeah. Just- Right. And, uh, so there we go. Just uh, went right in. Did yeah, and then um, I did not recover. Um, so that Friday was, I think, on a Friday. Mm-hmm. I did not recover until Sunday evening. Yeah, oh, man. that'll do it. Well, I can tell you one thing. How old are you? Uh, Twenty five. Okay, so that was only four years ago. Let me tell you something. When you get in your thirties, their recovery is going to be a whole week long if you drink yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel it's like going to be a whole bus. week. Long in your thirties, okay. I've told some stories. Uh, I'm realizing I might regret later on. I might get a phone call from some cousins or my mom, <laughs> being like the story you just told. Oh, other story, everything. The oh, boat, everything. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So uh, again, family affair. Bring it in, <laughs> family. Because now I'm family. Family. I need you guys to understand that Nani <laughs> is telling our stories. Okay. And these are stories that are going to be passed down from generation to generation to generation, right? Who don't want to know that the goat y'all got sick of got slaughtered and everybody ate And enjoyed. And enjoyed. Okay. So that's the part that I need you guys to remember. That there was an enjoyable time that happened there. So give her some grace, okay? These stories had to be told. We can't have these just in the vault, all right? No. So just just know, future family, (laughs) that... We had to tell these stories. We had to tell them on here. Go ahead. You're safe. This is a safe space. <laughs> I love it. Yep. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Your 21st different. was wild. Yeah, that was my 21st. I had but actually, sounds like the way it's supposed to go, especially with family. Yeah, um, yeah. It was yeah. a great time. Um, I actually had three 21st birthdays, but that was the first one. And I count that as the real one. Wait, three? Yeah. Because you well, know, you're celebrating with different groups of people. Yes, that's what. It yes, was. were they all a recovery day and a half, two days? No, long? no, that was that's the most. <laughs> the extreme, family the one really strongest. was at the top. Um, yes, yes. I'm just like I'm like now I'm, I'm thinking I'm like filtering myself now. I'm like I want no, I want no, don't do no. it now. It's too late. I just I just, I just <laughs> gave them a speech. I okay. just gave the family a speech. Well, the other twenty first birthday. Have you guys ever played Charlie McDennis? No. no. It's a drinking game from uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. You can look up the rules online. It's very complicated. Mm-hmm. But there's like three levels to it. The first one's wine. Second one's beer. Third one's hard liquor. Um, and then there's like challenges you have to do. Uh, anyway. Do they play it in the show? Yes. They do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember uh, it. It, uh, I think they do it twice, actually. When they, uh-huh. There's like little tokens. You destroy it. Anyway, but uh, one of the one of the games was on the hard liquor one. You have to write down a number of how much shots you think you can take a minute. 
Oh, and I didn't think about like how many I could take. I thought how many I could actually take, you know, like a theoretical, you know. If it was water. Uh, no, just like no. <laughs> like yeah, I could down like twenty. I put. I said five. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I was like, how realistically? How mm-hmm. like five is a lot. Yeah. In, a In minute. one minute, you yeah. did it. Did you so, do it? Here's. The, I thought it was That's hypothetical. That's a whiskey glass full. I thought it was hypothetical, but the the. I thought you said you have seen the show. I have, but like w- the way we were playing it, I didn't think we were actually going to be taking five shots. Oh, mm. so whoever wrote the highest had to take that many shots. And you were the one who wrote the highest. A guy also wrote five as well. We both wrote five. So then they lined up five shots for me, five shots for him, a sixth in the middle. They put on a timer and they oh they put on a timer for five minutes actually, and they said. Uh, whoever gets that six shot won. Um, and, and you're like, it's my twenty first birthday, and I'm a winner. <laughs> yes, but what did you win? Uh, the winner bragging rights. It's bragging rights, and the winner got to destroy the other people's playing tokens. Which what we do wrote, you mean destroy? Ooh. What do you do? Uh, like, yeah, so we got gl- like it was glasses, and mm. then we just wrote our names on them. So you like break them. Oh, I could. I wow, can get with that. Serious. I can get with that. This is serious. Yeah. Uh, we have to look up this drinking game. Uh, oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, my God. If you guys played, I'd love to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we might do a behind the scenes with that one. Yeah, that's a good one. But yeah. uh, I will say I did win. Of course wow. you did. And then I sat in a corner with my jug of water, and then that's all I did for that. And I just made oh. sure I was good for the next morning. I didn't have a hangover because I drank so much water. So much water. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Oh you drank, you drank like, what, six times the water yes. to the... Yeah, yeah, like a full a full jug. Right. Yeah. So I hope you guys hear that out there. <laughs> we talked about, what was that we had? The fact of fiction? Oh, or yeah, yeah. hangover yeah. cure? Oh, yeah. That's, water works. Water works. <laughs> She's telling you right here. See? We got somebody. Experts say. Yes. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so that will count that as my second training story. Yeah, <laughs> and they're both really good. They are. They are. You have really good stories. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, I, I wouldn't expect anything less if you like crafting drinks and you, you know, you you guys family does this anyway. Mm-hmm. So it's like I wouldn't expect anything less to have like a great drinking story. Oh yeah, it's really fun. Exactly, especially with the that first drink. Didn't even know there was two yeah. fucking alcohols in there. Starbucks frappuccino. I was just sipping it. I was like, yeah, I was like, oh, this is my friend actually. She was like, it's only alcohol. Wait, what? My friend introduced (laughs) me to that one. Um, Yeah. Uh, It's the garnish. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's got cinnamon on top. You're like, Mm -hmm. oh, it's fancy. I was like, oh, (laughs) this is something I would like to. A little coffee cake or something. Yeah, I don't I, I, I was thinking like you get you go to Starbucks, ask for an espresso shot in a venti cup, and then you just fill the rest up with that. Mm-hmm. I thought like that would be amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, you had actual coffee in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I'm not a big coffee Concentrate fan. Concentrate or yeah. something or a shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Again, or a scoop of Nestle Quick. Like I feel like that would mm-hmm. also. Taste good. I'm, oh. I like chocolate more than uh, a coffee. coffee. Mm-hmm. Oh well. To each well, their own. <clears throat> well, Nani, <laughs> give us a little bit of uh, where can people find the Film Hub? Yeah, uh, the Film Hub. Um, you can find us, our website, uh, thefilmhubinc.com, uh, mm-hmm. uh, on Instagram, the Film Hub Inc., uh, Facebook, Film Hub Inc., or Film, H- Film Hub, the Film Hub Inc. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's that. <laughs> this whole right. mixture. Uh, yes, that's on everything. If you want to hear more about the Strawberry Film Festival, follow us on social. Anything uh, we're doing, we'll be posting on there. Uh, whenever we do fun events, we'll be posting on there. Uh, you can also go to our website, add a, to our mailing list, see when we have um, deals or uh, offices available. Yeah, and a lot of great information on there. Mm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. This was fantastic. It was. I'm glad we made you do it. Yeah, yeah. I almost did it. <laughs> I know you did it. I know. Because, I mean, the, the whole point when we asked you, you was like, oh, I'm going to make you guys some drinks for the show. We was like, not only make us some <laughs> you're drinks, be our you're going to be on it. Yeah. And you need you, to what? know like, like, no, what this is. So, I, I'm, I'm more of a behind the scenes person. So this is well, I'm glad you're in element. the forefront. Yeah. And, <laughs> I mean, because you're literally in the forefront. Yeah. At the film hub, so it makes you sense are. on why you should also be yeah. in the forefront <laughs> for this. So thank you so much. I love this, and Nani's family, please <laughs> come in, Paige. Where please, oh. we're we're ready. We are Can so ready. 
We are so ready to be part of the we'll plan. I chat. want some right. goat. I want some cow. I, I want some, all of that. I'm ready for all of that. Um, and once again, everyone, thank you so much for watching and listening to us. Um, and let me let me do a special shout out because I, I I meant to do this um, last week and I didn't. But I want to do a special shout out to Mateo to see Mateo make sure that we are looking good with the lighting. Because I mean, yeah, I could be. <laughs> I could. <laughs> If it was anybody else, I, I might look like a white girl up here. Who knows? <laughs> and you Who make knows? sure I'm not washed out. <laughs> and she's not washed out. So, Mateo, thank you so much for all that you do for this show. And um, signing off. It's our right, pairing. Peace. <laughs> Thanks for listening and watching Odd Pairing. So please subscribe, like, rate, and comment with your favorite drinking stories and curiosities about adult beverages. Cheers. I'm going to happy hour. Keep driving. <laughs> <laughs>